What's going on everyone, Austin John Plays here, and today we're going to be talking about a fusible material duplication glitch for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. To clarify, this is going to be able to duplicate anything that can fuse to a bow. So this does not cover things that you can drop on the floor and then pick up. So that's what's going to be available in this video. By the way, the amount of people who have been asking over the last week, how do I roll back my game to a previous version of the software? You can't unless you delete your save data. If you played the game at all on 1.1.2, you cannot just instead be on 1.1.1 through any matter of means. After that save data is loaded on the new software version, there is zero chance that you can actually roll back your software. But luckily, we now have this. And as opposed to the duplication glitches that could be done at pretty much any point in the game, this duplication glitch can only be done after a very specific piece of story progression is a specific vitality door that's here on Dragonhead Island. You don't have to clear the storm on Dragonhead, but after you clear that vitality door, a sequence of events is going to take place, which is then going to be opening up for you Tobio's Hollow Chasm, which is located right here in Tobio's Hollow in the Farron region, just south of the Dueling Peaks. That's step one, having access to this location. Step two is for you to have a multi-shot bow. Now you could do it with a duplex bow obtained from any of the Yiga foot soldiers soldiers who are carrying a duplex bow, or you can use a three-shot Lionel bow, or for extreme efficiency, you can use a five-shot Lionel bow. Now, if you are not able to take down a Lionel, one, get good on taking down Lionels and start taking down Lionels, and most of your problems in this game are gonna go away. But if you can't take down a Lionel and you refuse to take down Lionels, if you make your way over here to the Cape Kales Cliff Base Cave, Yep, I managed to say that without slurring it. Which you can feel free to grab some of the materials that are on the ground directly below my character right now. I can't zoom in and see them, but they're just next to me. They're located right here on the map, which is everything you need to actually build a functioning boat. Or you can just glide off into the actual cave itself. Now, if you choose to just glide on inside, all you need to do is land on this piece of wood and then use your horse whistle in order to open up this door. You actually don't even need to get the quest for this or anything else, just land here and whistle. Now if you just swim or take out a fan and then make this into a boat, you're going to be making your way to this large pirate ship over here. This is actually a spooky pirate ship. And once you're at the very front, you can go ahead and use ascend. There's going to be some stall enemies on here who honestly shouldn't be giving you too much trouble unless you get hit with that shock arrow. But all you have to do is climb up this crow's nest toward the forward of the ship and you're going to be seeing a chest here. Now you could go ahead and put down a hard save because inside of here is going to be a savage Lionel bow. And if you've progressed enough to the point in the story that you get modifiers on your bows, you can either get quick shot or what you really want is going to be a five shot Lionel bow. If you open this up and you have a modifier there, it may need to be a gold one, not too sure about that. You can get a five shot Lionel bow or take a three shot Lionel bow and make your way over to any of the rock Octoroks, save in front of them, drop it down, have them chew it up, spit it out, and there's a chance you can get a five shot modifier. Once you have a multi-shot bow, preferably five shot, and once you have access to Tobio's Hollow, right here, you can now perform this glitch. If you make your way to Minoru's altar, where you had to put Minoru's mask on, you're then able to walk down this passageway and enter the hollow down here. And Tobio's hollow chasm is unique from the other chasms in that it's not directly straight down. The cutscene that you had involved you actually decreasing in altitude. Because of that, we're going to be using that transition between the overworld and the depths to our advantage. Now, you need to progress down this until you make your way into the depths. Now, as you're coming down into Tobio's Hollow, you're going to notice that you're going to have your atmosphere pop in at about 150, 155, somewhere around here. And this is the point that now you are going to be able to do this. So after doing a little bit of this testing, it seems like negative 158 down there in the bottom right seems to be like the most stable location that you can do this. And all you have to do is Use something to your bow and then shoot it forward. And you're gonna notice that the item is just going to stop in the middle of the air. So if I were to shoot something smaller, like an Endura carrot, I'm gonna fire it over here. You notice that all five of them, well, two of them actually hit the ground, so those two disappeared. 
But if I shoot it higher up in the air where there's not going to be any collision with anything, all five of them stay. But if I shoot something that's larger, like a big hardy radish, see how while they're landing, it causes some issues and two of them are actually going to disappear. If I pull out a three shot Lionel bow and I shoot, you're going to notice the exact same thing that two of them are going to break. So for your larger items, you have to use a five shot Lionel bow. For your smaller items like carrots or something else like that, you can use a three shot bow, no problem. Now, after all these things are here, once you walk forward and you leave this atmosphere, all these items are just gonna fall down to the ground. Now keep in mind that the game can only have 21 items loaded at a time. So because of that, after your 21st item is shot forward, you're gonna have things start to despawn. If I were to grab Silver Lionel Saber Horns and shoot them, use my five shot bow, shoot them nice and high, those are considered larger items, so you need to use a five shot. Ancient Blades, same issue. Those are larger items, so you need to have a five shot. Dragon Parts, like a light dragon horn. All five of those seem to land no problem. Dinral Scale, yep, those land no problem. Let's go ahead and grab all these items. I kind of like watching them all fall at once. Now you are consuming arrows while you're doing this and you are consuming durability on your bow. Granted, you could just go to a rock octorock and then have it fix up there. Or you could use rock octorocks to duplicate your bows, whatever you want to do for that. I went over a video on how you can use rock octorocks to duplicate your actual weapons. Diamonds, all five diamonds load, no problem. So if I go ahead and shoot off more. Now, after you shoot your 21st, you're going to notice that they're just going to start randomly disappearing. You probably want to go collect before that point, but there is now just a river of diamonds flowing down towards you. And I think that's pretty crazy. So do keep in mind, in order to actually shoot it, you are going to be losing one of your fused items, but you're going to be getting three to five back as long as you're using a five shot Lionel bow. Frox Guts, I only have one. So right now, I have zero in my inventory, but if I go over here and come grab these, I'm gonna be at a total of three for a net of two. There may be some people who actually prefer this kind of duplication method because you are required to get to the point that you have multi-shot bows. You are required to actually give up arrows as a resource. So you're not getting it completely for free. And I think some people would actually prefer that over, you know, just how easy it was with just using the uh, the jump glitches. It's weird that they're just like suspended in the middle of the air like this. And once we get closer, they just all start falling down. Okay, I hope one of those waterfall images actually worked for the thumbnail because I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. As far as this duplication glitch that's exclusive for version 1.1.2, that does require you to have some items, have some story progress, and actually make your way to this point. Leave a comment down below. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.